1934, Dorothy Round won the Wimbledon Ladies Singles Championship, keeping it in this country for the first time for many years. Twice she has been Australian champion, holder of the British Mixed Doubles Championship for the last three years, and she's represented Great Britain in the Whiteman Cup match four times. On the court, she's a star. Off the court, she's a charming personality. And here she speaks for herself. During the last few years, tennis has grown in popularity tremendously and people everywhere are taking a much keener interest in the game, both as spectators and as players. You will all agree that the better you can play a game, the more you will enjoy it. And I'm going to show you, in the best way that I can, some of the do's and don'ts of lawn tennis. And I hope that you'll find these hints really helpful. Dorothy Round is certainly right when she says that lawn tennis has grown in popularity. Every year, the thousands who flock to Wimbledon to watch her and the other stars, among them so often Queen Mary and our late King, testify to the popularity of the game which has become worldwide. And how many of you who were there wouldn't deep down in your hearts admit that you weren't longing to be stars too, on the court, fighting for the championship? But now your big chance has come, and we're taking you onto the courts of the Herger Club Harrow with Dorothy Round to show you how. To play well, you must keep fit, and to keep fit, you must train. This is how Dorothy Round keeps that perfect, slim, supple figure. How many double throughs can you do? The service is the most important weapon of attack in the game. As it happens, it's also the one stroke you can practice by yourself. So watch how Dorothy Round does it. Then take a couple of dozen balls onto the court and try it yourself. She stands sideways to the net, not facing it. She gets her pace by the full weight of her body and not by the strength of her arm alone. First, she throws her weight back onto the right foot. Then, at the moment of impact, her arm is fully extended. Her eye is on the ball and she's in the act of throwing her weight forward onto the left foot as the head of the racket comes down in a perfect follow through to finish up in a position well behind her body and her eye is still on the ball. It's just the same in golf. The full weight of the body carried round in a perfect swing. Now watch the service through Dorothy Round's feet. Back, forward. Back, forward. Watch it again. Back, forward. Back, forward. Try and make your second service nearly as hard as your first. For to send over a soft second is as good as giving a point away. Always keep one of your feet firmly on the ground during the stroke, or you'll break a lawn tennis rule. And be careful never to swing your right foot across the baseline until you've actually hit the ball, because that's forbidden too. See how Dorothy Round's right foot stays behind the line. In another moment it will swing forward to take the weight of the body as the head of the racket comes forward and down in the smooth sweep that will end well behind. So develop your service and keep on top of your opponent from the start. Here's the grip for the forehand drive. Points to watch, the fingers gripping the handle on the slant, the head of the racket up. The grip that produces the plain, straightforward drive, the foundation of the game. Watch how Dorothy Round is on her toes all the time. And it isn't only in lawn tennis that that rule applies. See how she keeps her eye on the ball all the time how she stands sideways to the net and not facing it, how she stands away from the ball to give her room for an easy, uncramped swing. The head of the racket goes back, and at the moment of impact, racket and arm are practically in a straight line. The body is well out of the way, and the racket comes round and up, and as the weight of the body swings forward onto the left foot, the racket head goes up to the end of a perfect follow-through. Here's a stroke deliberately cramped. She's too close to the ball and has to step back at the last moment. And didn't she look uncomfortable? And here in contrast is the perfect, smooth, easy swing. Watch her eye on the ball. This business of keeping away from the ball is perhaps the most important thing to remember in the forehand stroke. The moment you get too close, you have to draw your elbow in and it cramps your stroke. So it's far better to step back too far and lean forward. And here, once again, the camera catches the ball at the moment of impact. 
to show Dorothy Round's perfectly easy balance that produces the fizzers that skim the net that beat your man and your woman. And this is the finish to aim at. Full weight on the left foot, racket high above your head, and your eye on the ball. So here are the points to remember. Eye on the ball, stand sideways to the net, keep on your toes and keep away from the ball so that your arm can be straight and unhampered in its swing. And now watch Dorothy Round put into practice what she's shown you in detail. And these pictures are a lesson in tactics too, as she sends the ball flashing first to one side of the court and then the other. <laughs> 